I made two other videos on how I upgraded my desk with RGB. You'll know that I have other RGB attachments near my workstation that I've made myself. The hexagon lights and the four lights. Both of them are controlled individually by Arduino. But I want to control these and the RGB fans on my computer and the RGB strip that I got synchronously with Arduino. So I made my own RGB controller. Well, at least for the computer, the hexagon lights and the floor lights are set. In order to customize the colors, I'm going to use palettes from Fast LED. It is the library that controls addressable RGBs with Arduino. They can take in palettes, which are just gradients, custom gradients that you can actually customize yourself to control all of the RGBs in my workstation. The unaddressable lights are just going to follow the gradient and the addressable lights just follows the gradient and has an offset for each LED that goes down, which looks pretty cool. I made this circuit board for the computer. It contains an output for all of the types of RGB strips I listed earlier. The USB input comes from the same USB pinout on the motherboard that is intended for additional USBs on the outside. For example, the USBs on the front of the computer. Since the USB can only output 5 volts, I had to get more power of 12 volts. I did find an empty 4 pinout power, and it has 5 volts and 12 volts. There is a schematic if you're interested. You can see the rest of the parts on my website, link is in the description. Lastly, it is time to install the RGB strip. After doing so, I plugged in all the inputs, which is just the RGB strip and RGB fans, to my DIY RGB controller, and was done. As for the code, I used FastLED's example for now. It is a code that allows you to change colors from a palette. I had to make some tweaks, like adding unaddressable LED support, which just takes the color of the first LED and relays it onto the unaddressable LEDs. You can change the palette with Palette Knife and CPT City, a place where you can visit cool gradients, or you can just change it manually to change the colors. It is a little inconvenient for you to have to change the palette three times in three types of code in order to send it to all the devices, but that is fine right now. That is going to be solved in a future project, so make sure you press subscribe if you want to know how I solved that problem. For now, it looks pretty nice having all of them synced up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.